fine. That's good. So before we start our lesson, let us pray muna. So let us all stand. In the name, I are you ready to pray? Yes, yes we, we are. are. So in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Praise be the, na the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now and, and forever, forever, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, good morning. Good morning. So our topic for today is all about integers. So um, last meeting, di ba, na discuss na natin yung all about sa integer, wherein yung integer is a set of positive and negative numbers. So, our main objectives or our intended learning outcomes are, at the end of the discussion, the students should be able to, ito yung mga dapat yung uh, ma-achieve at the end of the lesson. So, number one, determine the rules in attic integers. Um, dapat malaman nyo kung ano nga ba yung mga rules sa pag add ng mga integers. So, number two, apply the rules in solving mathematical problems. Magagamit natin yung rules sa pag-solve ng mga mathematical problems, hindi lang sa integers, pwede din sa algebra at iba pa. So, number three, recognize the importance of using integers in our life. So, meron tayong apat na oper operation ng integer. Um, meron tayong addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Pero ngayong araw, magpo-focus muna tayo dito sa addition of integers. Yung um, sub um, subtraction, multiplication, and division sa mga susunod ng araw. So, before we start, let us have a energizer or drills for you to have an energy before we start our lesson. So, number one, write down your shoe size. For example, your shoe size is 7. Then, your shoe size will times to 5. Did you get it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma and then, add 50. For example, your shoe size is 5. Step number two, your shoe size will be times to five. For example, seven times five equals thirty-five. And then add fifty, and then times twenty. So, in this example, um, one one thousand seven hundred is the result. And then add by one thousand eighteen. And then the score is 2,718. Take away your birth year. So, for example, your birth year is 2003. So, 2,718 minus 2003 is equal to um, 715. The um, second number will be your shoe size and the remaining number will be your age. Okay? Did you get it? Yes, yes ma'am. So, kung mapapansin niyo dito sa image, gumamit siya ng um, integer wherein um, may positive dun sa taas and then mayroon din negative. Ano sa, ta sa tingin niyo itong image na to? Thermometer po. Correct, thermometer. Next. Ito yung ginagamit sa pag-measure ng gasolina na nakoconsume ng mga driver ng motor. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ginagamitan din siya ng mga number na related sa integers. At eto din, negative numbers are used to measure under sea level, yung ilalim ng dagat. At pareha din doon. So, what is an integer? Miss Abonita, what yes, is an integer? Um, for me, an integer was a number that has a positive and negative sign. 
Very good. So, integer are composed of negative and positive numbers. So, integers are like full numbers, but they also included negative numbers, but, but still no fraction allowed. Number line, negative 10 to 10. So, yung fraction, hindi na siya kasama sa integer. Diba? So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa left side, meron siyang positive integer, and then, dito din sa right side, may negative integer. Where zero is neither positive nor negative. So, positive integers are all the whole numbers greater than zero, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, yung positive integer daw ay more than, ay greater than zero. So, kapag um, less than zero, hindi na siya positive integer. So, negative integers are all the opposite of these whole numbers. Example, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3 are negative integers. So, ito yung opposite ng positive integers. Kung yung positive integers are greater than 0, itong negative is less than 0. Naitindihan? Yes, ma'am. Apo. So, in adding integers, follow these rules. If the integers have the same sign, add them together and keep the sign. For instance, we have 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Bakit siya naging 8? Kasi pareho silang positive number. Kapag wala siyang sign, um, understandable siyang positive. And then, yung pangalawa, negative 2 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 7. Kasi, ikakapin mo lang naman yung negative kasi pareho silang sign. And then, add the absolute value. So, if the integers have different signs, subtract them. The answer takes the sign of the larger number. So, for example, 5 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 3. Kasi, mas mataas yung value ng negative 8 sa value ng 5. So, ikakapin mo yung sign na mas mataas yung value and then, isa-subtract mo sila. And also, negative 4 plus 11 is equal to 7 kasi mas mataas yung 11 kasi sa negative 4 kaya magiging positive 7. For me to evaluate that you have learned this lesson, let's have a group activity. Group yourself into five, five member, and then we will start our group activity. Meron na ba ang members yung lahat ng group? Or lahat ba ng student ay meron ng group? Yes meron po ma'am. Ma ma meron na po ma'am. So let's start. Our problem number one is negative 2 plus negative 20. You should raise your board in order to see if your answer is correct. So, class, raise your board. Wow! Oh my God! You learned so fast! So, lahat kayo ay tama. The answer is negative 40. Yeah, tama. Okay, for problem number 2 20 plus negative 1 um, I will count into 5 And then you will raise your board 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Raise your board Reveal the answer Yes! Mom! Ah, oh, group 3, 4, 5 got the wrong answer. Oh. Oh. Bangit kayo, next problem. Okay, answer nga pala, 0. For, um, problem number 4, we have 381 plus negative 301. Raise your board. Mom! 
Mom. Reveal the answer. Please reveal the answer. The answer yes. is positive 18. Correct. Very good. Yes, tama tayo. For our last problem, we have negative 809 plus negative 77. Oy, Mom. Raise your board. Mom. Reveal the answer. Yes. Let's end this day by prayer.